Good morning. Talents. I'm talking about talents, those skills and different gifts we have received from God. Are you using yours for the church and the world? Am I using mine? The Bible is full of stories about talents and using them. Matthew tells us, don't put your light under the basket, but put it on top where your light can shine before others. First Peter teaches us to serve one another with whatever gifts we have been given. In Ephesians, we learned that when each part of the body is working properly, it makes the body grow up so that it builds itself up in love. For me, one of the most challenging scriptures about using our gifts is from Luke. It says, from everyone to whom much is given, much will be required. Not expected, not suggested, not hoped for, but required. I have been given much, much is required. My mother used to tell me that God never gives you anything he doesn't want you to use. So how do I know which talent, where and when? I believe that God puts people and opportunities in our path to show us the way to service. We just need to pay attention and respond. One such instance for me was when we lived in Cary and I was working part-time at an elementary school. There was a student named Rodney. Difficult, hard to reach, very angry about his life. But through the relationship that he and I built, he showed me that I have a gift for working with young people. So in my 40s, I went back to school received a master's in counseling and became a school counselor. If I do say so myself, I was a very good counselor because through this student, God had led me there and I had listened and responded. After I retired, I wondered what was next for me. Ephesians says, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Now I had time dur during the day for different activities, so what was I gonna do? All my life I had known Richard Starbuck, and after I retired, there he was, standing in my path, telling me, not asking, telling me that I would be a good sanctuary interpreter and that he had already put my name on the list. Here's the information, Chris. God's messenger, I listened and I responded and now I'm a sanctuary interpreter and I truly enjoy it. So what else? Much is required. Well, I love to cook and I've been told that I'm a good cook. So I investigated the opportunities. I learned that Ashley Sanders was one of the people who cooked for Wednesday night fellowship dinners and other events. I didn't know her then. But I went to her anyway, and before I finished asking if I can help, she enthusiastically responded, yes. So now I'm one of the home church chefs. We have a good time. Um, I love it, and we're good cooks. My point is, is that we all have talents. Some are the same, some are different. Some to be used often, others needed only occasionally, maybe once a month or even only once a year. To use our gifts is simple stewardship, belief in action. God has given us much. What he requires is for us to use these gifts to his glory for the benefit of others. And we can rely on him to show us the way. Freely we have received, I urge you and encourage you to freely give. Thank you.